Hello, and a huge welcome to Bring Your Own Bold, our online two-day event with a simple focus to celebrate creativity in the B2B sector. My name is Nick Farrer. I'm the founder and CEO of ShapeBuy. We're the creative agency behind this event. Now, this is our second year for this event, so we're facing that so-called second album syndrome, but I'm really pleased to say that we've had a lot of fun putting together a great lineup of guests, talking across a wide range of subjects that hopefully inform and inspire you. I'll go into some more detail about what you can expect from our speakers and the talks in a few minutes. But first, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the ethos behind this event. When we rebranded our agency a few years ago to Shaped By, we spent a lot of time talking with a lot of our target audience, namely business leaders, senior creatives, and senior marketers in the B2B tech sector. And it became pretty clear pretty quickly that many of these people shied away from the tech label. They see themselves as innovators, uh, as enablers of change, as problem solvers. They're companies who are developing products and services to make our lives safer or more efficient or to save us time or save us money or be more sustainable. Whatever they do, they use technology as the method to deliver, but they don't necessarily see themselves as in tech. Now, this notion resonated with us when we were working on the brand identity for Shape By. The companies we wanted to work with were doing some amazing, incredible things. It takes a lot of blood, sweat and tears to start these really innovative companies. There's a lot of R&D, writing business plans, securing investment, getting your go-to-market strategy nailed and then launching. That's just to get you started. Too often that boldness, that innovation and the vision gets lost in translation when it's shown to the outside world in what other people are seeing, whether that's investors or customers or potential employees. There's a gap between the original ambition and boldness that's at the core of an organization and what's shown to the outside world. And this isn't just limited to startups or scale ups. It happens across the board, pre IPO, post IPO, Companies at every stage of maturity have the potential to forget what they're truly about. So embrace your bold became the shape by call to action, inviting companies to look at themselves and see if they genuinely are portraying themselves in the right light and ideally then working with them to help make the changes they need. That idea of embracing your bold and our desire to share and discuss ideas to help you on your journey is the premise for this event. Um, I, don't, I don't want to set the context for these two days with some of the usual lazy cliches we hear about creativity in B2B being more important than ever and I don't want to set the scene that for a long time B2B marketing was seen as the, the serious cousin of B2C focused on logic and efficiency with little room for creativity. To me, this thinking is very old school. They're oversimplified responses to the importance of creativity in the B2B space. So what is the backdrop of this event? It seems that we're entering a new phase for B2B marketing. It doesn't seem too long ago that we were obsessing with lead gen, fixated by spreadsheets of MQLs and SQLs to, to justify our budgets. Next, it was the turn of demand gen, longer term education and nurturing to create interest in products and services. Now we're focusing on brand gen, building long term strategies to build a company's reputation and trust. And that's probably the main theme for this year's BYOB, the notion that brand is back. Building your brand is more crucial than ever in B2B land. And it's not just us who recognize this. We're definitely seeing an increase in client conversations and briefs with a focus on brand identity or brand campaigns. And there is plenty of research and evidence to back up the need for being bold in your marketing. If you're interested and you want to read up on some of that research, I thoroughly recommend 
the Superpowers Index 2024 is a really great read. It's collected from something like 25,000 brand experiences over a four year period. It's a really comprehensive study of B2B buying behavior and it categorically reveals that building brand trust and recognition are now the key differentiators in B2B. Some of, the, some of the information from the index are truly compelling. Brands that perform well across the top decision drivers have, on average, a 27% shorter sales cycle. They have much higher NPS scores. They have an increased likelihood of further product adoption, and they're almost three times more likely of increased future spend. Now, whilst B2B marketers, on the whole, think they're doing a great job of communicating a distinct brand proposition, I'm afraid that the vast majority of B2B buyers disagree. They feel that many of the brands that they're exposed to through work have very similar marketing and messaging. They all sound and act the same. It's the companies that are moving away from the vanilla brand identity and content we see so much of and focusing on building trust and establishing expertise and showcasing distinct identities that are winning the race. With these things in mind, we have <clears throat> a number of sessions over the next few days focusing on this new era of Brand is Back. In one, we focus on the huge subject of strategy. There's never any doubt of the importance of strategy in any creative project to give any chance of success. In a session where we've called Scrappy Strategy, Smart Strategy, Alex Waite, our marketing director, is talking with Alan Roll, who's the head of Brand Creative at Airtable. They're discussing how smart strategy builds on a flexible blueprint. It's not about rigid frameworks, but about connecting dots across business strategies to adapt as you go. In another session, we're focusing on balancing short and long-term goals. With nearly 70% of B2B leaders increasing budgets for their brand building activity, our panel is going to discuss how to find the right balance, the sweet spot between short-term performance activity and brand activity that takes longer to pay back and is more difficult to measure. We've got a CFO, a CMO, and a Director of Integrated Marketing giving their various perspectives on the subject. So we should get a really healthy, balanced view. AI remains another hot topic on everyone's lips. We spoke about it in a couple of sessions last year and they proved very popular. So we devoted more time to it in this year's BYOB. It's fairly commonly recognized that there are several areas to be aware of. Aware of. How can you augment AI into your everyday to make you more efficient or more effective? What are the opportunities to monetize AI? And also the importance of understanding threats from AI. At ShapeBuy, we run a, a community. It's called the Changemaker Community, and it's made up of senior B2B creative directors and VPs and directors of brand. They meet remotely each month uh, to discuss issues that are relevant to, to them. It, it's clear from these discussions that at the moment, AI is a little bit like the wild, wild west. There are no set rules and no real clear understanding of what works well in a creative environment. If you recognize yourself in here and, and you recognize you see yourself in this situation, then our session with Eduardo Garcia Lopez, who's the principal designer at HubSpot, should give some real insight into integrating, into integrating AI to empower creative teams. Following this vein, uh, in a world where everything seems to be AI powered, how can you make your own AI story stand out? We're joined by Cindy Duong, who's brand design lead at Outshift by Cisco, as she discusses her strategies for making AI communications resonate with audiences and shares how her bold and agile approach, agile approach helped bring Outshift's unique vision to life. That is just a small sample of some of the great content we have in this year's BYOB. So to bring it to life, to kick it off this year, I'd like to introduce our first session female leadership in a male world. Um, and a bit of context about this talk. Women make up just 28% of the tech workforce and at leadership level, something like it sits around about 26%. So is it a sector that's really making progress? 
We've got three esteemed leaders across marketing, brand and creative to discuss their experiences and perspectives in one of the most important issues in tech. It's hosted by Wei Key, our client services director and a part of the leadership team here at ShapeBuy. Before we get started, I just want to say a few thank yous. First and foremost, a massive thank you to all of our speakers who have been very generous with their time and sharing their expertise. We really appreciate your input. Next, thank you to our event sponsor, Big Marker. You can find out more about uh, the Big Marker on their website, and they also have a booth in the Build Your Own Event area of this, of this event page. Thank you to the wonderful team here at Shape By for putting this event together. We're a relatively small team with very busy day jobs, so what we've achieved here is incredible. And finally, thank you to you for registering for BYOB. I really hope you enjoy the next couple of days. We'd love your feedback, so please take time to complete the post-event survey that you'll see after each session and after the event itself. A final reminder to you that all of the sessions will be available on demand after the event. So don't worry if you miss anything, you'll get the details of how to access it emailed to you after the event. Thank you. I really hope you find value in what we've put together for you.